speaker now? I believe so if we put it in presenter mode. Okay. Um, I think it will. Um, so I feel like I just pull my notes up on here on my laptop. You might do that as a backup because this is not my computer. But we I think if we put it in presenter mode. Okay, thank you. Um, would you like to go to wherever if you want to go to? Yes. But I have to do you, what is it? I think. It's Ilsa Stanley is the page. So there there it is. What is it? Ilsa Oh, the article. Yeah. Okay. Um, sorry, spell for me one more time. S T A S T A. Sorry. <laughs> Too many that was things fast. going on here. Yeah. Is that Stanley? And the cool thing is, is if you search Google, mm -hmm. it's one of the first things that will come up. Oh, there we go. So. Okay. Yeah, you can pull up a link on here. No, I mean, the link is the one on the schedule. Okay, wonderful. No, um, is I, this all you need? I don't know how to move around on this, I'm sorry. It's this. Oh, yeah, and if I want to go down, use the arrow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, yeah. very good. And then the mic is here. Okay. Uh, I can stay for the first half of this, but then I, but yeah, then I need sure to bail. Um, so the way I'll show you how yeah. this is set up, mm -hmm. so it's a Chromebook, so the windows are all here. Just select your windows. So you already have slides for other people? And yeah, the there's other slides windows for are? other windows. Okay, so, so it's a set of tabs. It's not slides for everyone. So this yeah. is the schedule. So this okay. is Martha, and then it's us, oh, okay. and then um, Brenda. So okay. we know that those are all good. And then there's slides here, slides here, slides here, slides And that's here. more or less in order of I'm not going sure it's actually okay. in order. Okay, that's fine. I can um, search around if I need to. And Brenda's got to plug in, and somebody else might plug in. Okay. But the, the most confusing thing is, oh, is, that, is that the tabs are here. So I've, yep. I've got a website for us pulled up. And I've got you don't need to know this, Mom. I'm sorry. No, that's that's just so yeah, you, yeah, just, yeah, you yeah. don't have to clutter your brain. No, I was only watching. Yeah. I wasn't even listening. I was just okay, watching. <laughs> so okay. you can be here for the first few minutes or a half hour or so. If you can help me get through the first couple, then I think that should be good to go. Um, no, no. Um, okay, hello everyone and welcome to the lightning talk session for Sunday. So we're going to get going and our first speaker is my mom, Martha Forsythe. Well, it's Peter's for fault that I've done any of this Wikipedia stuff anyway. Um, when I was in high school, a book came out of which I have safely put away somewhere the dust jacket called The Unforgotten by a woman named Ilza Stanley, who turns out to be a woman with an extremely interesting history. Um, she is Jewish, was Jewish and German, and lived in Germany during the Hitler years and all of that, and managed to get herself into a situation where she was able to extract about 400 people from concentration camps. Title of her book is The Unforgotten, and I can't find much about her online. So she is being forgotten. I said, this is wrong. There should be a Wikipedia page. So I put something up, and then I started searching around for decent documentation. And I was able to find a certain amount. I did some genealogical research on her. Her father was a cantor and so forth. But my main source for information on her was her book. And that turned out to be nearly all the information that I could find. There, Ralph Edwards on This Is Your Life did a program with her in 1950, no, I don't know when it was. It might have been 1955 before the book came out. Um, I didn't get to see that until sometime last week when a friend told me that her grandson, with whom I have been in contact, had put it on YouTube. So um, I didn't have any of that. I had information about that that I could put up. But here I am, and then a friend of mine who lives in Germany said, well, let me check some of the places that she studied at. And she couldn't find her. 
She searched around, and she simply couldn't find her. And I got a little scared at that point. I don't think we have to throw out the baby with the bath. <clears throat> My friend and I have come to the conclusion that probably the story basically is correct. It's a short story. It won't take you long to read it. But I don't have the document. There, there's a kind of a dearth of documentation. And I am not a historian, and I don't know how to push it further. So that's the point. I became, at first, a little afraid that I had posted, published fake news. I don't think it was fake news. But uh, how do I prove it? That's it. <laughs> Any suggestions? Welcome, or go to the page and make suggestions. Curiously enough, if you search for Ilza Stanley on Google, last I checked, it was the first thing that came up. So I do want it to be accurate. So we, we have about two and a half minutes now if you wanted to take a quick question or two. But I think otherwise, if people want to talk to you, they should maybe approach you this afternoon. Yeah, because you put a summary on your talk page what cards you use, what, where you have already searched. Where I have already searched. Um, yes, I will do that for the later. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And I actually, I believe I still have a, a practice page in my, on my talk page somewhere. I could maybe just point you to that. Okay. Thank you. Do you have a subscription to the newspaper archives like newspapers.com or some of those where you can do a word search on her name? No, I don't. Um, she came to this country and she lived here. She died here. She, she came to Boston. Well, she came to New York, and then she moved to Boston, and then to New Hampshire. Um, and there was some interesting stuff I found there. You can, a lot of it you can see by the few sources that I do have that are not her book on there. But yeah, OK. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, it's lovely, so we'll switch to.